You know, it was a nice sunny day yesterday, but today I look out, I see blue skies and some sp suspicious dark clouds. No kidding. I have big barbecue plans for the weekend with my family, but Mark, is it going to rain? We do have some possible rain coming in the forecast, so you'll want to make some preparations for your barbecues. If you look outside, you can see some dark clouds that are covering the valley, and those dark clouds will continue to cover the valley for the rest of the weekend. And you can see that those, well, those, those dark clouds are actually keeping our temperatures rather mild in the 50s and the 60s. Right now, it's 63 outside with a light chance of thunderstorms coming in the, light, the later part of the day. Humidity is around 44%, and our wind speeds at 4 miles per hour coming from the west-southwest direction. We can see uh, for later tonight, we'll have the continuation of those clouds and warm temperatures in the 50s and the 60s with that mild chance of thunderstorms, isolated thunderstorms coming in the valley through the rest of the evening. Uh, across the nation, we actually have some, uh, we actually have some storms that are, that'll be hitting Virginia, the Virginia region, later in the day, and those possible storms will continue in that area through the rest of the evening. Severe thunderstorms are coming in the south from Texas all the way through uh, Tennessee and the Carolinas, and those th severe thunderstorms will continue for the rest of the weekend in the beginning part of next week. The Midwest is getting hit with some severe rain in the Ohio and the Northern Plains region. And the West, we're actually going to be kind of dry for the rest of the weekend. The Pacific Northwest will get a little bit of rain. But uh, in Colorado, they're getting some record highs. And here in Utah, we're actually having some pretty decent temperatures for the, for the time. Logan has a high of 66, Salt Lake 69, a high of 91 out in Moab, 89 down in St. George, and 77 in Cedar City. The five-day forecast for the southern Utah area is going to be sunny, a lot of sun between the 70s and the 80s, and that sun will continue out. We're, they're actually having a, uh, high wind, uh, a high wind weather alert down in the southeast part of the, the Utah state. And that winter weather warning, or the, the uh, high wind weather warning, will continue for the rest of the day and into, next, into tomorrow. Uh, the Wasatch Front tomorrow has the possibility of being a very soggy day, and will continue to have mild temperatures in the 50s and the 70s, with a possibility of a high thunderstorm coming in the latter part of next week. And we'll update you more on that next week. Man, it looks like maybe I should take my barbecue plans down to southern Utah. That'd be the place to be. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Mark.